Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good evening, everyone. If you have any outdoor plans tonight, it is looking great. Maybe if you're headed out to the Roughnecks game, temperatures are going to be in the lower 60s. A quiet and cool out there with light winds, just about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're not looking at those winds that we saw yesterday. We even had a wind advisory with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. But tomorrow, those winds are going to be picking up out of the south, helping to warm us up just a little bit. We're, we're still going to be in those 60s. The real warming, that's going to hold off until Monday. And then through most of the week, our temperatures will be in the upper 70s to lower 80s. But tomorrow, with the disturbance moving into the region, we're looking at increased cloud cover and also some scattered rain showers. And then by the middle of next week, Wednesday and Thursday, we are tracking the potential for some more severe storms. Large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes are all possible right now, so we will definitely keep an eye on that as we head towards the middle of the week. This is the disturbance that is going to be moving into our area. It is going to continue to move off to the northeast. It's already bringing some clouds back into our region, but right now very dry conditions out there has been a gorgeous start to the Easter weekend. Unfortunately, we are looking at clouds and some rain showers as we wrap up our weekend. So far for the year, we are now running over an inch below normal on that rainfall, but we do have several rain chances in the forecast as we head through next week. No one day is going to be an all day washout, mainly looking at some scattered showers and then a line of severe storms developing Wednesday into Thursday. But in McAllister right now, very clear blue skies out there. It is a gorgeous evening. We're also seeing a lot of blue skies with some high clouds starting to move back in outside of our tower camera. Temperatures are in the mid 60s and check out that dew point 20 degrees. So we have very dry air over the region right now. 62 in Bartlesville, 65 right now in Bristol, 63 in Okmulgee, 64 in Tahlequah, and 66 degrees in Pryor, 64 in Vanita. And as I mentioned, our winds significantly lighter, just about 5 to 10 miles per hour. They are out of the southeast. And on future track, we're not going to see a whole lot of changes over the next couple of hours. Just a couple of clouds starting to move in as we head towards midnight and then sunrise tomorrow. That's when more clouds are going to start moving up from the south as that disturbance it moves into Oklahoma. And then also scattered rain showers as we head throughout the day. The areas with the greatest rain chance possibilities are along and south of I-40 with decreasing chances as you head up towards the Kansas border. So we're just mainly looking at a few sprinkles out there. Could see an isolated thunderstorm as well. And then those clouds will linger Sunday night into Monday. Our temperatures will be a little bit warmer overnight thanks to that additional cloud cover. Looking at upper 40s in McAllister, Poto, and Fort Smith, but it's going to take that cloud cover a little bit longer to travel northward. So still looking at those upper 30s around Bartlesville, Coffeyville, and Joplin. Low 43 degrees here in Tulsa. So your Easter Sunday, scattered rain chances throughout the day. Temperatures will be near 56 degrees around noon. Highs near 64 at 5 p.m. We'll still be in the mid to upper 50s around 10 p.m. Bartlesville looking at High near 64 tomorrow, 65 in Ponca City, 64 for Stillwater, and 63 in Pryor. Just slight rain chances on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday are the days that we're really keeping an eye on. Those are the days that we could see some severe weather. Temperature-wise, pretty comfortable throughout most of the week. Going to see those temperatures in the lower 80s. As we head towards next weekend, though, things are going to start to dry out, and our temperatures are cooling back off as well into the lower 70s. Some excellent news there, and I can tell that Easter is tomorrow, thanks to your little pink graphics. bunny that has told me that. <laughs> I wouldn't know any of the holidays if it weren't for Brittany's graphics. <laughs> well, I like to keep everyone updated with that. Oh, well, we all appreciate it. I think, are we going to a break right now? I can't really tell what's happening next.